Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest, we truly serve an awesome God. A God who not only created us in love, but a God who wants to be in a relationship with us. He also wants us to be in relationship with one another and to serve one another to show his great love. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Philippians chapter 2, beginning at verse 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. You know, as I read these words, I'm reminded that this life is so much about one another, that we get caught up in the idea that we need to, to work hard, which we do, and we need to make as much money as we can, and we need to have as much as we can. In fact, the world tells us that you know he who dies with the most toys wins. He who has the most money or the most power or the most of this or most of that win. And the fact is, they're just wrong. They just don't get it. Uh, he who dies, he who lives because of what he has is the one who wins. And when I say lives, it lives for all eternity. When we have Jesus as our Savior, that's the one who wins. When we go to heaven for all eternity, that's the one who wins. And when we bring as many people with us as we can, that's how we win. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money you had. If we go back uh, you know, 50 years, 100 years, 200 years, 1,000 years, whatever, it doesn't matter what their name was. It doesn't matter what they did. It doesn't matter what they accomplished, any of those things. The fact of the matter is, is that they are no longer on this earth. They're no longer serving a purpose. And if they know, G if that person knew Jesus as Savior, then they're eternity in eternity for all, uh, in heaven for all eternity. Sorry about that. Um, if they didn't know Jesus as Savior, then they've been cast into the pits of hell. And again, money doesn't matter. What matters is the relationship with God. And so we say all that to say that when we're on this earth, what really matters is one another, of loving one another, of putting others first uh, and, and, and showing them the love that God has for us. Uh, you know, it said there, uh, do nothing out of being conceit or selfish ambition. Uh, our world tells us today to be selfish. It says to you know, step on one another if you have to, to get to the top. It says to take advantage of one another, take advantage of the weak position, uh, the weak mindset, whatever. And we're not called to do that. We're called to, to lift each other up, to consider others uh, better than ourselves, or at least as good as ourselves, and to, to treat them fairly. Um, the world would say, if you don't know someone, then they're a stranger, and, and treat them accordingly. God would say, everyone is our brother and sister, and we should treat them accordingly. So today, I just want to encourage you to think about what God has done for you, to think about the fact that at some point in time, you know, God sent someone into your life. Maybe you were in a bad spot. Maybe they could have taken advantage of you, but instead they loved you. Uh, that's probably what brought you into the kingdom. Uh, uh, you know, the, the kind of the starting point. That's, you know, God uses that a lot. And then think about how can we, uh, how can God use our lives to reach out to other people? How can we love one another in the ways of God, uh, in the ways of Christ, rather than in, the, in our worldly ways? Uh, the devil wants to trick us into believing that we can just go along with the ways of the world and everything's okay, and it's just not. Uh, the truth is, the fact is, is that if we want to make a difference for God, we have to truly serve Him, and we have to live His way, and that goes against the ways of the world, and that brings up, uh, you know, the world's ire and the world's disdain and the world's disgust and all these things. But if we live the way that God would choose us to live, others will come to know Him. Others will have all eternity. Praise God for that, Father God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder of how we are to love one another. Father, so many times it seems like people are unlovable, but yet there was a time when we were unlovable too. In fact, even today, there may be some areas of our life that were unlovable. But Father, you loved us. And because you loved us and gave your life for us, we want to love one another. So help us, Lord, to see people as you see them. May we have your eyes when it comes to those who would be against us. Help us, Lord, to live out our lives uh, as you would have us to live, uh, knowing your will and being led by your spirit. Lord, even when times are tough or when it seems like uh, the world is against us, Lord. May we just live out your ways so that others might see your great love. Father, help us to love one another, our brothers and sisters in Christ especially, but also those who aren't yet brothers and sisters. Help us to love them in such a way that your love shines through. And may you receive all the glory and the praise. Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Uh, we love you as well. Uh, I just want you to know we're, we're praying for you today. If you're watching this, just that God will speak to your heart and draw you near to him and that you always just sense his grace and his presence in all that you do. Have a great day. God bless. Hope to see you again tomorrow.